Hi, okay, today I want to talk uh, a little about uh, something that is called a uh, op pump, or you can call it operation, operational amplifier. Okay, so this is the op pump. Uh, the drawer is exactly like this. We have uh, two input, one is minus, one is positive and we have an output of course we also have a power connection in order to get it operated now uh, the only formula that we need to remember maybe the other we can get uh, from a little very little math i will show how is that a v output or the voltage in the output pin at open loop open loop meaning there is no resistor that connected between the output and the input is equal to something that is a VOL which meaning that this is the amplification of this amplifier at an open loop which is written in the datasheet multiply by V plus minus V minus okay this is the basic formula of the operation amplifier now this means uh, that if the positive input here the voltage is a little higher very little than the negative input so we can say that V plus minus V minus will be positive so since this is a very big number so we will get a like no infinity but we will get the V source positive that is connected to the arm to the op pump meaning if this is the plus for the power for the op pump and this is the minus for the this is these are the source source connection because it needs of course voltage in order to get it work so if you will call it let's say a v source positive and this will be v source negative so if the number here will be a little very little bigger than the number here in voltage so we will get the vs plus at the output and if this will be a little smaller than the value here so we will get vs minus meaning negative voltage at the output or uh, just zero depends how we connect this to power now this is exactly anything uh, that we need to remember because all the other we can get out of it immediately now I will show how so the basic connection for the operation amplifier is like this if this is the minus and this is the plus okay usually we connect the resistor here and this will be the V in and here we will have another feedback resistor from this point to this point and it is very important that it will be from the negative input and not the positive because otherwise it will act different this op pump and then here we have the V output and we will connect this V plus to ground now what we would like to know in this case is of course what is the correlation between V in and V out so let's call this one R2 which is resistor number uh, the second resistor this would be the first resistor and now I will show how to uh, 
how it is very easy uh, with knowing very few things about the on pump to know what is the voltage out okay so let's start with it there is something that is called virtual ground virtual ground is saying that if the operation amplifier is with feedback like this and everything is okay and we are doing as it is expected to be so the voltage in this point and the voltage in this point will be the same this is what it is saying so we need to remember that the virtual ground because this is connected to zero so here we will have also zero volts exactly zero volt and knowing this we can calculate the v output correlation to the input so it go like this because uh, of course the current will flow from the v in let's say this is a positive directly to the ground now another last thing that we need to remember is that the impedance the input impedance in the op pump is very high meaning that there is no current flow to the inside of the op pump and if this is the case so the current can't go this way so it can go only in this way this is the meaning of uh, what I have just uh, said okay so if the current can't flow to the input and it goes from here to here so it must now go from here to here it can't go from this point to the zero since it must continue in the same direction if it is not entering to the on pump so the only way to flow is in this direction knowing that I can write uh, the formula which is V in minus zero this is the different voltage from this point to this point and if I divide it by R1 of course I will get the current because V divided by R is the current so this is exactly the row that I have drawn so if the current is flow and this is exactly the count V in minus zero divided by R1 so it will be equal to the current that flow in this way which is zero minus V output and this is divided by R2 and now if I know this formula I can continue and uh, multiply this part with this part so we'll get V in multiplied by R2 is equal to minus V out multiplied by R1 from this formula we can get of course the V out which will be V in multiply by R2 divided by R1 but of course don't forget the minus so this is the formula which is saying that V out is equal to minus V in multiply by R2 divided by R1 now later on I will do some simulation with linear spice to show uh, how it works and to show that what I have just written is correct now let's do another case and the other case is that V in is not going in this direction it is going uh, to the plus so we will get a different formula so let's see how it will be in the second case so the second case is that we have V in in the positive and we must again have uh, we call it uh, R1 
and now we'll con connect it to ground and we will have the R2 and the R2 is connected to the output of the op amp now we'll see a different a different thing about the formula and different thing about uh, the voltage out okay so this is the same case this is a virtual ground and if this is a virtual ground so we will call this V in because the same voltage in this spin is the same here so now we have a formula we now let's say that uh, the current is flowing in this way so we'll have V in minus 0 divided by R1 which is the current here will be equal to V out minus V in divided by R2 now let's multiply again and see what we get so I multiply the V in with R2 so I get V in multiplied by R2 is equal to V out minus V in and all of this is multiplied by R1 now I can divide by R1 so I'm dividing by R1 so I get V in multiplied by R2 divided by R1 is equal to V out minus V in now I will move the uh, V in to the other side so I will get V in multiply this is minus V in so in the other side it will be positive so V in uh, multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus 1 because of this that move to the other side is equal to V out now we can see uh, the main difference from the other formula so I will write uh, the other formula that we got if we are going and uh, the V in is from the negative side so we got that it is equal to minus V in and R2 divided by R1 so the major difference is of course that here it is negative meaning the voltage out is negative to the voltage in and the second thing that we can see is that here we have only R2 divided by R1 and here we have R2 divided by R1 but plus 1 okay so I will do a, simulator, a simulation later and uh, show a case and we will see that everything uh, in simulation is exactly as I have explained so thank you for now and bye